come down here, almost a bird's eye view now. Um, they just moved their equipment. They're getting ready to cut a lot of land here. Oh no, Tim, we should be backed up a little bit. Okay, back up. He's just grabbing them as he goes, ain't he? That's just something else. Right. This is something else. Good to have great neighbors. They got a big pond down here with beavers in it. Uh, we'll have to do some video of that. Um, and I guess the beaver has uh, young too. So hoping to see them, but they're probably scared to death now. Wondering what in that world going on. Well, like I said, there's the beaver pond right there. Um, we're down here cutting. Um, we'll do some clearing. Uh, I think we're going to do 100 acres here. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It's just beautiful down there. Um, I'll walk back I have to show you the rock house. Um, just a rock with the, like an overhang. Only cut as far as you could go. There's no reach so far over. It's a pretty steep hill. It's like a big dinosaur going across the woods. He's carrying those trees. That's just unreal. So he's taking them where the Skitter can grab them, start hauling them out. See the rock cliff there, the canyon. Kind of a glare on the phone. Looks like there's some mushrooms up there. There it is. I wonder what those are. I can't zoom in. I don't know what those are. I wonder if those are chicken of the woods starting out. That would be nice. Some old dead oak too.
my neighbor's place. It's pretty nice. I was like, come on, let's go down and see what they're doing. Beautiful pond. Timber. Sneak down here and see if we can see this beaver. I think their entrance is right there. Yeah, they're probably scared. With all this noise, they're not used to this. I guarantee you that. And the other piece of equipment's right down there. So they're kind of spread apart and just going to town. Well, it's just a beautiful day. Just beautiful. Two old poplars right there. They're not cutting none of those over there. That I'm pointing at. They're cutting some of that up on top of the hill there. Um, or around the, yeah, right up on top of the hill. Uh, I think they're making another road coming down. I think is their plan. So they have a straight shot. You know the price of fuel. Um, you want as straight a shot as possible. Because um, this curves all the way up the hill. And they're going to be loading everything up there. So I think they want to come straight off that hill, straight to this path. It's going to be nice. They'll go up on top. They're bulldozing, making the pad now. So they can bring the big semi trucks in. Um, it's going to be interesting. This is the first time I've ever seen this stuff. Um, this is a nice operation. This family owned operation. They've been doing it. Uh, old man told me he's 80 years old. Um, and the pipeline's out here, it's a natural gas pipeline. So this is going to be really pretty when it's all done. It's going to give the wildlife so much new life and thickness. Like this right here, it's going to be so thick, you won't be able to walk in. It's going to be so thick that you won't be able to walk through it. And that's what animals need to live and survive. Well, that sure make cutting firewood easy. You know, a lot of people say, oh, this is terrible, but... You know what? Um, these woods have been cut and cut and cut. There's so many junk trees. And what I consider junk trees is like that beach down there. Um, and that's what these forces have become, nothing but beach. Um, and I'm sure you heard of beech nut, and that's where beech trees. Uh, but they grow so rapidly that they take over all the good trees that produce food for their wildlife. 
Um, it does produce food for the birds that migrate through, but so does other plants too. Um, like I say, nothing's wasted. Um, and as you can see, uh, they take some small stuff out. Uh, and no, like I say, nothing's wasted. And it'll all grow back, but when it grows back, it'll be natural then. Um, and it's going to take a lot of years for it to grow back. But like I said, throughout the years, uh, the trees will be tall and straight like a tree's supposed to be. Not with all these limbs and branches. Um, that ain't how a tree's supposed to grow. It's supposed to grow tall and straight and have a canopy on top. Um, and that's my opinion. Um, and I definitely don't know at all. Uh, these guys know trees and they ought to cut them down. <laughs> It's just like a big hand just reaches up and grabs the tree and whacks it. Well, I hope everyone's enjoying this beautiful day. Um, here, we'll walk up here. It's pretty nice up here. Um, Tim's up there, I think, marking the trail. Um, he's kind of cutting them off. There's the rocks up there. It's like a straight rock shell. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to set up there and deer hunt. And then if it was raining, I used to get up underneath it. It looks like a lot of dirt and stuff spilled in. It don't look the same as when I was a kid. Um, kind of neat. I bet there's some bird nest up there. Um, and Tim don't want one of those pieces of equipment falling off of this. I'm sure he doesn't. Um, but I'm sure these boys know what they're doing. He has a ribbon marked here, here. Yeah, I guess he's got some of it marked already. It's not going to be cut. Um, and that's what the beaver do there. See all the trees, there ain't very many trees, all little trees, all the big trees are already fell down and beaver ate it all. Um, be beaver kind of cleared out this whole area. That looks like uh, sycamore trees growing. Those are definitely junk trees. They're, not, um, they're a pretty tree by your house, but that's about it. They got ironweed and everything's growing here. Now that's an invasive species, I believe. I think that's the tree of heaven. So I say it's everywhere. Um, yeah, it looks like we might get some rain. Anyway, it was fun when I was a boy. Like I said, I'm glad I got good neighbors. Um, they let me come back here all the time. Um, Well, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Peace.